музыка любви бы больше, я бы как бы сказал. То есть люди все танцуют, тянут руки к танцполу, к лазеру. То есть, ну все великолепно, все позитивно. Мало людей, очень мало людей для такой музыки. Очень мало. Очень мало народу, да. Очень. Беспотовая музыка. На самом деле, очень плохая музыка. А зачем вы пришли сюда? Я думал, намного лучше, намного лучше будет это все. И очень плохая музыка, просто очень плохая музыка. Я думал, намного лучше это все будет. Сколько раз сюда ходил, было намного лучше. Ну и на этот раз как-то не удалось. Во-первых, народу мама музыка не очень. А что за направление? А? Что за направление? Направление? Какое направление? Что за направление музыки играет там? Тамин kills me. Anyways, welcome to the channel, guys. Uh, my name is Majesty Bianga, and I am the host of the Financial Drive Through. Here we talk about cryptocurrencies, uh, we talk about investment opportunities, different ways you can actually be successful in the space, and we show you different ways to make money in crypto. And if you're into all that, I would appreciate it if you smash the like button, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to hit that little bell notification so you get notified whenever I drop a video. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. Always a pleasure, and let's drive through. So, we are still on the People Powered Network and we're talking Helium in today's video. For those of you who may have stumbled upon this video by chance and don't know much about Helium, Helium is building a network for IoT devices and basically they are crowdsourcing the task of building this network to individuals like you and I. And uh, basically what we get for actually participating and owning these hotspots in our homes is we get to earn HNT. And it's pretty much like free money once you make your initial investment back, which so far is happening anywhere between two to three weeks at a max. And so definitely something worth looking into. And we're going to talk about a few things you should know before you actually buy your miner. So network is live. Um, there are currently 77,464 hotspots um, around the globe. And when I started this just over two weeks ago, there were exactly 60,000. So this network is growing really, really fast. And they have a whole network map that you can view on the Explorer, and we're gonna check that out. Okay, so this is the Explorer. They give you all the information, the block number, the number of consensus groups they've had. You can see all the different hotspots as they're distributed all around the globe, okay? Now, a couple of things you should note, because at the end of the day, if you're buying a Helium miner, your main interest is in actually making some money, right? You want to know if you're going to be earning in the location that you're in. And so what they've done is they've made this actually very simple for people. This is the look at the beta Explorer. It's the new Explorer tab. And honestly, this thing is just absolutely beautiful, especially when you compare it to the previous version. First thing you notice is they're all they're just a bunch of hexagons on the map. Now this is an area where there are hotspots. So anywhere you see these green hexagons, you see that there are people's hotspots there. And they've actually even numbered them. So you can see how many hotspots are in any given hex. Now ideally you want to make sure that in your location at your address, you are the only hotspot taking up one whole hex. And that way you'll be getting like the maximum rewards and all that. If you happen to be in an area where there are, say, okay, right here, we see there are up to six different hotspots in this area. Um, none of these guys are going to be getting the full earnings. So if you look here, you see 0.42. That is the reward scale. And you want to ideally be at a reward scale of one. Zero is very bad. One is perfect. One is One means that you're getting all the rewards for your hex. So in this case, these guys are all sharing the rewards. You see this guy has 0.83. This guy has 0.53, this guy has 0.83 again. So what's really happening here is whenever they get earnings, this is going to be split amongst all these six hotspots based on their reward scale. So that's something to keep in mind depending on your location. If you find out that you're in an area that's already too crowded, you want to find yourself a spot in one of these blank areas over here. And honestly, it doesn't even have to be in between a bunch of uh, hexes. You can also just be that lone wolf on this side. The hotspots actually have sufficient range to reach a couple miles out. And um, that's definitely something. So if you are 
a lone wolf in this area, another thing you want to think about is elevation. You want to keep it somewhere high up so that you can reach other hotspots that are far away. Now, there are a couple of tools that you can use to also find out if your location is perfect. And one of them I'm going to show you, actually, I think this is the best one, is helium.place. Okay, so helium place takes you straight up to a whole map of the world. And in this case, I want to geolocate to where I am just so I can show you exactly how this works. First thing you see once you get to a location is there's this big red hex. And then if you zoom out, you can see a couple dots on this area. So where I am right now, there aren't many hotspots around. There's just one, two, and then if you see these two over here, they're yellow. Ideally, your hotspot should be blue. There's a legend that's been provided at the bottom right, and you can see that that's for the reward skill. So we just talked about that. You want to be at 1.0 ideally, and you don't want to be at zero. Definitely not. So they are also color coded here. And so we can see why these guys down here are yellow. These guys are currently getting just half of the rewards because they are too close together. But ideally, you want to make sure you are a lone wolf in one hex, and you should be getting your full rewards in that manner if there's um, a clustered area so like if you were to go look downtown for example uh, we can see over here there are a lot more hot spots and here we can see a very good distribution of the um, color scale right so all these dark blue ones here are getting their full rewards this guy over here is probably getting 0 0.8 yeah 0 0.83 the yellows are around 0 0.5 0 0.4 and so on and so forth so now the main thing you want to know is if you put in your location so let's say you can type in your full address over at the top and that should take you exactly to your location and you can check and see i'm gonna click here right now and we see this red grid so this whole red grid is 300 meters out right and you want to make sure there is no other hotspot inside your red zone otherwise that's going to be an invalid witness and they're not going to do you any good actually they're going to even compromise your earnings more so you want to definitely stay away from that now except i did something wrong there used to actually be a green area just around the red zone and that was the sweet spot so basically anything that was in your sweet spot would be very very good for you I can't see it on the color legend um, I saw this a while ago I don't know what I may have done um, so drop a comment and let me know if I made a mistake here but typically as long as there are no other hotspots in the red zone and there are some hotspots around the red zone you are good to be able to speak to those devices and also witness them directly you know act as a beacon what have you and you're gonna be getting those earnings okay so this is one site that i'm going to link in the detail section of the video just so you can check that out and uh yeah let's check out the last tool i'll be talking about today and this is hotspot rf now the main aim of this platform is to help you optimize the placement of your hotspot so you want to be able to keep your hotspot in an area where it's actually going to see other devices it's going to be able to reach out to them you have a clear line of sight and so uninterrupted service uninterrupted earnings that's something you want to do so we're going to check out the portal right now. This is a random area on the map. Same principle, you want to keep all the hexagons out of this shape that's right here. So right now this position will be very, very bad, right? Okay, so let's take a look at a less uh, densely populated area. So I'm going to zoom in on this section right here. Now let's say I wanted to place my hotspot right here, right beside the University of California, okay? Um, I can see all these other hotspots over here. They have some settings on the side that you can use, right? So you can put in the frequency of your miner. Now you would notice when you order uh, which frequency you're getting. Um, if you're getting like the usual stock antenna, the one that comes with the device, most likely your antenna gain is going to be 2.3. Cable loss only accounts when you are, you know, adding a line of cable just to extend, say, the range of your antenna. So if you wanted to um, have the device indoors and then extend your antenna all the way outdoors, you're going to be using an extra length of cable and that will count for cable loss. I'm not going to get too deep into the details, but um, there's a comprehensive guide on the platform that you can use and I definitely encourage you to check that out. So uh, your height, so in my case, I'm going to say I'm four meters above the ground and I do live in the suburbs. So if you're in an urban environment, you select that. If you're in the suburbs, you select that. If it's a wooded area where there are a lot of trees that will be blocking your line of sight, you select all that. Or if it's a clear line of sight, it's like an open field, 
and so you should be able to reach other miners you know very easily that's one thing to do i am selecting suburbs because that's where i am and you can simulate your location so we're going to simulate this particular location here um, simulations do cost credits and like I said you're gonna get 10 free credits when you sign up to this platform so that's definitely something to consider you can do a few free tests before you decide to buy credits if you are say moving your hotspot from one location to another and you need to know if that will be good so when you do this right it shows you um, your hotspot smack in the middle and then you can see the whole grid for all the hotspots that you can touch so um, I'm not really going to be touching this guy over here if I choose this location, but I would hit one, two and three. OK, now they are a bit far out and you can actually there are tools here that can help you measure the distance and everything. But the fun part about this is the output of the simulation, right? So if we look over here at this location, I would have a reward scale of one, which is good. And then um, I'm reaching two hotspots who are in my safe zone. So that's these two over here, right? And then um, you can also see what your estimated daily rewards would be. And this, you can actually only see this if I think if you're a pro account or so. Uh, but it will show you exactly how much HNT you're going to be earning each week, um, each day, sorry, and how much you're going to be earning each week, how much you're going to be earning monthly now this varies okay this information is a rough estimate based on statistics and data analysis that they've been doing and they provided all that information here it might not be entirely accurate but it's pretty close and so to change this you're going to have to consider different factors the elevation of your miner um, how many other miners are in the area and stuff like that so honest to god when i first got my miner i saw that i was in a very bad location and i went on helium the place i checked the hotspot rf and i went on the explorer and i was looking for good locations i was literally calling businesses that were on the streets downtown to find out if anyone would let me put my miner in their building you know um you can make offers to friends sometimes you even have to pay them i mean whatever it is you have to do it's very very possible but the aim is to still build the network and sure we're incentivized you're getting money for it but at the same time this is actually going to be a very big part of the future of iot um and so that's something that i think you know everyone needs to consider so if you're all well and good and you've done all these checks and you feel that hey my hotspot's going to be doing okay at least it can speak to one or two devices and we can go on and say it's probably time to buy after doing your research of course if you haven't because you should be totally totally in tune with everything that's happening you want to know for sure that this is something that you want to do otherwise you're just going to have a device in your house that is not earning you any money now what could possibly happen if you were in a location where there were no other hotspots ideally the best thing to do would be to build your own network in which case you would be buying two to three to four miners you know and just spread them out in different locations you speak to friends you speak to family you know just whatever it is that you have to do to get these hotspots out there and yeah after that it's all smooth sailing things to note you want to avoid clusters because if you're in an area where there are too many hotspots like i said you're not going to be getting enough uh, rewards you want to also do a check on your location make sure that the location is suitable for what you're trying to do and then after that you want to make sure that you are buying the miner from an approved website so ideally you want to go straight to helium.com and then you want to click on mine okay and when you click on mine they're going to show you all the different hotspots you scroll down and then you get to the buy now page come here and click on the miner that you want okay i'm saying this very very slowly because there are so many scams out there and everybody wants these miners so people are actually falling for these scams so you want to make sure that you come straight to one of these locations and then you click on the order now page and that takes you to where you can buy this miner now the bobcat for example is one of the only ones that's currently shipping and they are backlogged okay so like if you, the earlier you order the earlier you're gonna get it but you're not gonna get it for about 12 to 20 weeks guys so that's something to keep in mind when placing your orders okay now I'm going to be buying one of these miners I'm, I want to get a third one and so I'm going to be doing that in my very next video so if you are still here and you're interested in doing this Stay tuned, we're dropping the next one right away. So there'll be no wait time between these videos and that way you can get all the information that you need. All right, 
If you like this kind of content, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and watch the next video, guys. Seriously, you will want to watch the next video.